In this video, we're going to cover how to do questions like these two, where we have to raise one term, like p squared, which already has a power, to another power, in this case to the power of 3. As a recap, remember that powers just tell you how many of a particular term you need to multiply together. So this 3 here tells us that we need to multiply 3 of these p squared terms together. So p squared times p squared times p squared. The p squared itself, though, means that we have to multiply two p's together, so p times p. And so if we change each of our p squared terms to p times p, we can see that we end up with six p's all being multiplied together, which is the same thing as p to the power of six. So p squared, all cubed, is just p to the power of six. Now, that's the theory behind what's going on here. But in exams, we can actually use a shortcut to figure this out more quickly. And for that, all we have to do is multiply the two powers together. So here, we'd multiply the 2 by the 3 to get 6. And in your workings, a good way to show that is that p squared to the power of 3 is equal to p to the power of 2 times 3. So p to the power of 6. So if we move on to this next one, let's answer this one just using the shortcut. Because we have x to the power of 3, or to the power of 4, we need to multiply the 3 and the 4. So x to the power of 3 times 4, which is x to the power of 12. And that's it. In this next one, x squared to the power of negative 5, one of the powers is negative which makes it look a bit trickier. But really, the technique is exactly the same. So we just do x to the power of 2 times negative 5, which gives us x to the power of negative 10 as our answer. If we have a number inside the bracket instead of a letter, like we have here, we've kind of got two options. One would be to do it in the same way as we've been doing so far. So just 2 to the power of 3 times 2 which is 2 to the power of 6. And then we can work out the exact value of that by multiplying 6 2's together, which would be 64. The other way of doing it, though, would be to figure out what the 2 cubed bit inside the bracket is first, which we can do by doing 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So really, we have 8 squared, which just means 8 times 8, so we get 64 again. For these last two examples, we've got numbers and letters inside our brackets. And in these cases, it's best to think of the numbers and the letters separately. So for this first one, 4a cubed, all squared, you really want to think about it as 4 squared times a cubed squared because we can apply that power of 2 to the 4 and the a cubed separately. So that's going to give us 16 times a to the power of 3 times 2, or 16 times a to the power of 6, which we can then simplify as 16a to the 6. For this very last one, 3p to the power of negative 2, all cubed, we need to apply that power of 3 to the number and letter individually. So 3 cubed times p to the power of negative 2 times 3, which is 27 times p to the power of negative 6, or just 27p to the power of negative 6. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So hope you found it useful, and thanks for watching.